Six people have died and nearly 300 people are missing after a ferry off the coast of South Korea coast capsized early this morning. Hundreds of people had to make the choice to stay on the ship as it was sinking or jump into the chilly ocean. More than 300 of the people on board were Seoul High School students who were taking a four-day field trip. Over 150 people have been rescued. A 42-year-old case involving two missing Vermilion teenagers has been closed. Last fall, a car was found in a creek near Beersford. Yesterday, Attorney General Marty Jackley announced the identities of the two sets of remains found in the car were in fact the two missing girls, 17-year-old Cheryl Miller and Pamela Jackson. No foul play is suspected in the case. Yesterday marked the first anniversary of the Boston Marathon bombings. Shortly after cer ceremonies ended, two backpacks in the area of Boylston Street finish line raised concerns with the police who evacuated the neighborhood. A police department spokesman says the Boston Police Department called in the bomb squad and performed what's known as a controlled disruption of the bags. Police arrested a man who is the owner of one of the bags. Police charged the man with possession of a hoax device, disturbing the peace and disorderly conduct. Police say one of the backpacks contained a rice cooker. And those are your headlines.